Hi, Shalom, page 57 of Masechet Baba Batra in today's stuff. Now, today's page is going to compare a Torah scholar to an Inca Damaris in regards to how is a table set up in one's house. You know, a table, a shulchan, is like a mizbeach, what was in the Beta Magdash. It's got to be orderly, pristine. So he relates over, there's a conversation between Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi Bana, and they say that the table of Talmud Chacham is neat, is uh, how pristine actually it is and how orderly it is. But of an Ignamaris, everything's all over the place. It's like a bonfire, pots here, pots there. How important is Now we talk about the concept of a bed. Can you leave food under a bed? We know that all the books, they say, no, you cannot store food that you're going to eat under a bed because of the you're going to sleep under it. When you go to sleep, it's got a 160th form of a passing away at that time. So the ruach, the air, the, the contamination that can come to it is very detrimental. However, it's related over and Ignamaris, he stores his items, his foods, his drinks under the bed without care in the world. You know, but a Talmud Chacham, no, he's not allowed to. Only in the winter and summers, respectively, to in an orderly fashion to put his sandals or his shoes, depending on the time period, and an orderly fashion. So, Rabbi Moshe Newman uh, had been asked the question that how about if a Torah scholar wants to store his suitcase on the bed in the yeshiva? There's no room, it's very, very tight. What should he do? So, he answered that it's okay to store the suitcase in an orderly fashion, in a neat fashion at the end of the day. In that case, it'll be fine. Wish you all a great day.